Hello, my name is David Gill. I'm the Parks and Recreation Director for the City of Concord, and welcome to the city. Um, great to have you guys living here now in the strange COVID-19 times. I am going to take my mask off to help answer some questions. Um, it's great to have you guys all following the rules. If, you, if you're within six foot of somebody else, you do have to have a mask on that's inside and outside, so I, I appreciate you guys following the rules. I'm not quite sure what you know about the city of Concord, but we have 21 different parks. Most of the parks in Concord date back to the 1800s. Um, so that's a long time that the residents and city council has been supporting Parks and Rec. Um, in total, uh, there's outdoor tennis courts. We have 19 outdoor tennis courts. So if you're into tennis, uh, we've also recently added some outdoor pickleball courts. That's the, the latest craze uh, affecting uh, older folks. And who knows, maybe in the next couple of years, we'll have permanent outdoor pickleball courts. Um, every park has picnic tables, has a place of reflection. If you want to read a book, you want to have a family picnic. Um, obviously, during this COVID-19 times, it's a little weird to get together with friends, but it's there. Hopefully, by next spring, we can get out and have a normal, a normal life, so to speak. Uh, the City of Concord also um, recently um, just opened a brand new uh, citywide community center up, on, up at Keach Park. Uh, it's an $8 million facility. It's about 30,000 square feet. And um, recently, this month, we just started bringing back our in-person adult and senior citizen programming. So there's yoga classes, fitness classes, um, armchair yoga for the seniors. We have Zumba Gold, which is for the older group. Um, we also have uh, community lunches, trivia time. We have indoor pickleball. Um, Keach Park also, we added a recently uh, half mile level walking track around the park. So a lot of times people, the senior, our senior walking group comes and they meet. When the weather's poor, they're inside walking inside the gym. If not, they're walking outside. So that's also an opportunity for you in the winter months. Um, obviously with COVID-19, um, we're doing a lot of extra cleaning. Uh, we're asking folks to wear masks when you're inside. Um, our schedule's a little different because we clean every two to three hours. So we have a block of programming. We close, we clean, and then we have another block of programming. And that's similar to a lot of other city facilities like the library and city halls doing the same thing. Back to the parks, they're here for your enjoyment. Um, if, if you see something, you see a trend, you want us to add a bocce court, so anything that you as, as retired folks or soon to be retired folks want to enjoy, let us know. Uh, we are part of the city budget process, so every year we go back and ask for funding. Um, and like I've said, city council over the years has been very supportive um, of a lot of the initiatives. All the parks are free, unlike um, a lot of parks in a lot of other communities. We don't have an entry fee, we don't have a gate. Uh, parks open at 6 a.m. and they do close at 11 p.m. Um, so technically there's no one supposed to be in a city park overnight. Um, and that's just for everybody's safety. Uh, we do have tennis courts at Merrill Park that have lights. So the, the lights are on until 10 o'clock. Um, and then basketball courts here and at Rollins also has lights. So if you're interested in playing basketball, um, that's available too for yourself and to families if you have families visiting. Uh, the past couple of years, uh, we, we're here at White Park. Uh, we have a brand new uh, Merrimack Lodge, uh, which is our skate house. Uh, it, it was a great public-private partnership. Uh, the city of Concord, the taxpayers uh, paid half of the cost and then the Black Ice and other donors came up with private donations money to make up the other half. That's a, just over a million dollar building, so that's relatively new. Also in the winter time, uh, we do maintain the White Park Pond and Beaver Meadow Golf Course Pond, which is right outside the clubhouse, and an area down at Rollins Park for ice skating. So if you still want to be ice skating or if you have grandkids and families come in, it's a great outdoor activity to enjoy. It's free. Um, we're not quite sure if we're going to be able to have the Merrimack Lodge open this winter um, due to COVID-19, but we do have ice skate rentals 
mostly the youth sizes, but um, we, and we have bathrooms and we have an outdoor fire pit. So hopefully, and then we can have some sort of normalcy this winter. The city also has a historic um, 800 plus seat theater um, right next to City Hall and the library, it's a city Audi. Right now that's closed. Um, I'm happy to say that other theaters in the states are beginning to reopen. They have extra cleaning. Uh, the city's hopefully going to have a good plan in place starting in mid to late October so we can start uh, maybe having some small shows and performances over this winter. Um, but that's a great uh, volunteer opportunity uh, regarding ushers or helping out. Um, so again, we have more information on our website, ConcordParksAndRec.com. The Audi's there and they typically, it's a, a series of shows. A lot of them are free. A lot of them you have to pay as a dance recital. Um, but we have a lot of great shows there. So again, that's in a normal year, that uh, adds to the arts community. Um, it's a good supplement from the um, the Capital Center for the Arts. Um, the, the City Audi has more of a, a, a local feel, I think. So that's another opportunity for you guys. I think that's everything regarding seniors. Um, again, if you have ideas for programs, you want us to add park amenity, um, let us know. Um, we're always willing to say yes if we can. If we say no, we, we'll, we'll find a way to say yes at some point anyway. So again, welcome to the city of Concord. Um, hopefully you're uh, an active participant in all the programs and offering the city has as, as, as well as other community partners in town. Um, there's a lot of opportunities um, to take part and be active in your community, uh, from churches to the Y to Good Life. There's a lot of great, great organizations in town that hopefully um, you'll be part of, and we'll see you again soon.